We have discussed Arcturus on many occasions when looking at the Procession series. We speculated that we orbit about this star stream as part of a larger twisting hierarchical Birkeland current. The Electric Universe talks about the concept of a polar aligned period for our solar system. This is something that I have yet to be convinced of in terms of observational evidence, but maybe, just maybe, we have witnessed this for the first time ever. This is an older paper that Jim Weniger dug up. It is a paper about the Hipparchus catalogue of data, and this was a two and a half year mission to observe many different stars looking at double stars and variable stars. Arcturus is considered a lonely star, but hidden within this data is evidence that Arcturus has a companion star. This star was located very close to Arcturus itself, but much dimmer. During the period of observation, no relative motion was detected. What is surprising is that this companion has never been observed before by some of the great astronomers who catalogue double stars. It could be that due to the small separation and large magnitude difference, this made it very difficult for them to spot. This by itself also presents a problem, as it would infer that the separation has always been this small for at least the last hundred years. We know the distance to Arcturus very accurately through parallax, and this shows the distance to be 11.25 parsecs. This would place the companion at about three times the radius of the Earth from Arcturus. From this they estimate that the orbital period is about five years. So what is the proposed nature of this companion star? Its absolute magnitude is about plus three. Since the colour of Arcturus does not vary throughout the whole observed range, the companion cannot become very much brighter relative to the principal star at any particular wavelength, and must therefore be of a very similar colour. The most comprehensive spectroscopy also showed no hint of a companion, possibly because the companion is only about 5% of the luminosity of Arcturus, and also suggests that their spectrums must be very similar otherwise it would appear as a recognisable composite. When one examines the radial velocity, and this is the velocity that the star has towards and away from us, then this too throws up many questions. This velocity has been observed and measured for a very long time, starting back in 1897. We know that this velocity has remained steady to an accuracy of one kilometre per second for the last 100 years. The five-year orbit of the companion would involve a relative radial velocity of about 18 kilometers in an equal mass scenario. The probable small mass of Arcturus makes it most unlikely that this companion would be much less massive and thereby carry the lion's share of the relative velocity. It may be possible that in this system the orientation is exactly so that it is face on to the Earth, but the author of the paper rules this out as a realistic possibility. Now another possibility is that it might be a mistake in the Hipparchus data. Perhaps the image was too bright and a ghost image was captured. The problem with this idea is that there is no similar suspicious companions that have been catalogued close to other very bright stars. So what else can we learn from this? So here we have a star with a companion that appears not to move and appears to be relatively close to the host star. If we remember from the video I did about our motion around Arcturus, there are two important points from this video that we need to bear in mind. Firstly, in a loose sense, we circle around Arcturus as we follow the twisting Birkeland current that we sit on, which wraps around Arcturus. This means that we sit off to the side from this motion. We also know that Arcturus has a much higher proper motion, and that this motion is in part because, for some reason, the Arcturus stream is travelling much slower compared to us. This in turn may possibly explain why these stars are all red stars. From the EU we also have the concept of a polar alignment. In the case of the Earth, this is thought to be caused when Saturn, which used to be our star, was pulled towards the Sun, causing all the planets in its system to follow behind in a polar alignment. If we examine where we are relative to Arcturus, is it possible that what we are seeing here is a polar aligned companion. Could something be causing the star stream to slow down? Is there something attracting Arcturus in the opposite direction 
and is this causing a polar alignment for its companion? Now further work certainly needs to be done to understand what we are seeing around Arcturus. If this really is a twin, it is certainly not behaving in a way that mainstream can explain. As always, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time.